Tracy, in your career, I'm sure you have seen so many resumes, some good, some bad, and cover letters. In that perspective, what tips do you have for a job seeker in terms of to have a good resume that will be aligned, as we spoke previously, with the company culture, or in the recruiter, we all know that they have maybe seven seconds or six seconds, they will read yes, no. How can they make that the yes pile? <laughs> Uh, I definitely think uh, cover letters are still important. Uh, it, you need to research the role, uh, but they definitely make you stand out because not a lot of people are doing cover letters mm -hmm. anymore. And uh, however, when you do a cover letter, if you are going to take the time to do that, I think it's really important to personalize it mm -hmm. to the company. If it comes across as just a template that you're using for multiple job applications, uh, a recruiter can see that very, mm -hmm. very quickly. And what sort of telling the recruiter is that you haven't taken the time to really learn what it is like for this particular company. Mm -hmm. So we're looking for um, people who have personalized their cover letter, personalized their resume as well, mm -hmm. that they're showing us in their application that they have done some research about mm -hmm. us. We really want to see that uh, that they know a little bit about left, they what they've learned they like, mm -hmm. and how that sort of connects with who they are and what they want to achieve. We don't. Um, we we tend to um, look at the bottom of the resume as mm -hmm. well. Uh, and I know that Patagonia, a great company, a great company culture, they actually read their resumes backwards from the bottom up, mm -hmm. and uh, because they want to know what type of a person. It's mm -hmm. not for us. It's not all about skills. It's definitely about um, what you're like. And so the the more you can portray that personality, yeah. and uh, and what makes you unique in your application, mm -hmm. I think. The, the better chance you are of grabbing that recruiter's yeah. attention. And what do you think about the, when companies are using applicant tracking system, those keywords, are they still important? Uh, should job seekers uh, see the job description, have a keyword and use the same keyword on their resume? I think in this day and age with technology, you do need to be aware that there are uh, applicant tracking systems that are being used to funnel through resumes faster. So yeah, if you if you can think of ways to incorporate some of those keywords so that you get past that mm -hmm. first initial screen, uh, it, it should help you. At left, we don't we don't do that. Uh, we still have eyes on every single resume that comes in, but depending on the, the company you're you're applying for, you may have that as your first barrier. Yeah. Thank you for sharing that, Tracy. And again, for the audience watching, if you have any other tips in terms of resumes or cover letters, please leave it in the comment section. Like and share the video, subscribe to the channel, and tune in tomorrow for another question with Tracy.